everyone welcome back today we are going to study about dry socket now dry socket is a complication which is mainly associated with extraction okay it is mainly associated with extraction only now before we go to this terminology dry socket first we need to know about what is this dry socket related to so after when we have extracted a tooth from the socket there is formation of a blood clot at the site of extraction and that is a process of healing of the bone cavity of, of the alveolar socket so that is how the uh, socket is going to heal so before we go further let's see what is healing healing is a process of replacement of the damaged or the destroyed tissue by a healthy or a new tissue so that is known as healing and now dry socket happens because whenever we have extracted a tooth from a socket and for example the blood clot which is always made generally at the site of extraction if that blood clot is not formed because of any of the reason then it can lead to a complication known as dry socket i will show you in the picture also but let's see the definition of dry socket here a dry socket is caused by partial or total loss of blood clot in the tooth socket after the tooth extraction so you can see in this picture also in normal conditions this blood clot is formed at the site of extraction when we generally do a extraction a blood clot fills the hole of the alveolar socket but in some cases what can happen is the blood clot is not formed either partially or completely and this can further lead to an extremely painful condition patient will complain of severe pain to the site of uh, extraction or the site of injury and that is known as dry socket so you can associate the situation from the name also dry socket usually when the socket is filled with blood it is wet but right now there is no blood clot and so it is a dry socket okay now normally after tooth is extracted as i just told you a blood clot is formed but in general conditions when the blood clot is not formed then it is dry socket now what is the main purpose of formation of this blood uh, blood clot so this blood clot here which is generally formed in our uh, site of extraction is helping in further healing of the bone underlying jaw bone okay it is going uh, going to help the underlying jaw bone this jaw bone can you see in the picture this jaw bone to heal further so if this dry socket condition is created or if the blood clot is not formed then what is going to happen healing is going to be affected now the two functions of this blood clot is first thing it will stop the area from bleeding over the time and stimulate the bone healing these are the two things will stop the bleeding and will uh, promote bone healing so this is what a blood clot Uh, formation after extraction is and what is a dry socket i hope you are clear with the terminology now which uh, in which kind of people or in which cases is this complication more common so people who generally smoke a lot and females these are the two most commonly affected people coming to the fact that this situation is also said to be alveolar ostitis so many a time in mcqs also and in questions also you can get it in form of uh, what is alveolar ostitis or what are the clinical features of alveolar ostitis or it can also be framed as localized acute alveolar osteomyelitis so this is the condition this is a general condition do not get confused this is a general condition where the blood clot is forming in a case like uh, your in a case in a, a case like dry socket the blood clot is not going to form now what are the causes of dry socket poor oral hygiene can be a cause like poor oral hygiene is a cause in almost all of the dental related complications okay so you just keep this as a common uh, cause now smoking i've just told you in females i've just told you and uh, uh, anywhere where there has been any previous history of dry socket maybe earlier also there was formation of dry socket even anemic people people who are suffering from anemia can also be a cause traumatic extractions very very common cause traumatic extractions the infection by the tea pallidum all these can be the causes of your dry socket now it usually occurs in 1 to 3% of the cases so this is the frequency rate moving ahead to the clinical features of dry socket this is an extremely painful condition low grade fever can be seen ipsilateral lymphadenopathy that is inflammation of the uh, lymph uh, lymph node can be seen exposed bone necrosis foul odor no suppression okay also there is a grayish yellow bony socket which is formed at like a granulation tissue so here you can see 
this is a kind of grayish and a yellowish bony socket or you can say granulation formation granulation tissue formation at the site of the bony socket at the site of the alveolar socket so this is the clinical feature coming to the prevention and management how can we prevent the situation keep in mind that you do not have to go for any traumatic extra extraction your extraction process should be very very smooth and give proper care while you are handling the living living tissue and the process of extraction should be really smooth now how are you going to manage for example your extraction was traumatic or any of the situation happened which led to the dry socket formation now how are you going to manage that the first thing you have to do is you have to clean the socket completely the extraction uh, socket which is there should be completely clean clean as in for example at the moment the patient had the extraction obviously immediately no clot formation is going to happen it will happen after some time after when the patient has reached home so maybe at uh, when he is sitting at home he just faced a severe pain at the site and he came to you and said i'm having a lot of pain and you saw that there is a uh, dry socket formation at the injury site now what you are going to do the first thing remove any kind of food debris if there is any kind of food debris at the site just remove that clean the extraction socket completely irrigate it with mild warm antiseptic and then you are going to fill some obtundent material inside it and you are going to do the dressing of the site and also you are supposed to change the dressing every day now most probably you will see that in one to two dressings only the patient will become symptom free the pain will be relieved now other reasons which can be inserted into the socket is tetracycline hydro hydrochloride aromycin and your sulfonylamide these are basi uh, basically some of the agents which can be inserted inside the socket when you are relieving the patient now also you can give analgesic for pain relief if the pain is extremely extremely severe and the antibiotic should be given to combat any chances of future infection or the present infection so this was all about dry socket it is one of a complication of extraction or you can say wound healing i hope this video was useful to you share this with your friends also do subscribe to to the channel and like the video thank you so much